Hello friends, welcome back. Let's create a hidden taxonomy first. So by going through the example, you will understand better way. So let me just, uh, so I have already uh, added the utility.php file, uh, which will register the utility taxonomy and assign to the movie post type because I want to create a relationship uh, between person and movie. And currently I want to filter the movies based on the uh, using the person name okay so for now i am assigning this utility taxonomy to movie post type and as a label i am just using the internal markers and i have passed the public and you can also uh, uncomment this like rewrite false uh, and so ui through for now demo purpose only i want to show this intern, uh, internal markers taxonomy into the backend just to identify how it gonna work okay but once our so like our functionality is implemented we can pass false to show ui so it won't be displayed to uh, display into the backend as well so like it's it it uh, utility taxonomy concept will work behind the scene okay so now uh, let me also include this file to our main file okay so let me just copy this one and quickly add utility.php file so if you go here to the movies now you can see the internal markers currently there is no uh, terms has been created and i have created internal markers as a non hierarchical taxonomy because uh, we are we don't we are we, we do not have uh, the hierarchical terms here because it's it works behind the scenes so we we are not going to creating the parents and relationship terms uh, okay so now okay so like we have registered the hidden taxonomy called utility taxonomy okay now what next so now like when we like uh, in the in the save post uh, callback function we are storing the metadata uh, into the uh, like meta information into the post meta here we are also gonna create a relationship okay so first what i will do is that uh, i will for create a utility terms for example here uh, so like i will just create a empty array here and then i will uh, using the for each loop uh, so at this point we have a safe uh, array okay so we are we, uh, we are safe here so i will just pass actor or maybe i will just use id so here actor is our person i person post id okay so just don't be confused uh, utility terms uh, then we will create a term name for example so so now this uh, relationship i am storing with the person post type uh, with the movie so i will use the person as a person hyphen as a prefix okay and pass the actor id here okay so now we have created the term so this term will create into the internal markers that uh, utility taxonomy hidden taxonomy okay and uh, let me this is where the extra space is and now after updating the post i will call uh, set uh object terms so this a uh, function wordpress function used to assign the taxonomy terms to this uh movie post or any any post id you are passing so here our will be post id okay so in the terms we will pass the array of dot dollar utility terms here a uh, util, uh, utility taxonomy is the non-hierarchical taxonomy that's why we can pass um the string um or the array of string okay uh and if those terms not exist then wordpress will create it but if the just in case like utility taxonomy is the hierarchical taxonomy in that case we have to create a terms first and then pass that terms ids when you call when you call this wp set object terms okay but since utility term our utility taxonomy is non-hierarchical so we can pass directly array of uh, terms and if those terms are if not exist then wordpress will create it and if it's there then it will just use that term uh, id and term taxonomy id to create a relationship with that post okay and here i will pass the utility taxonomy slug okay and there is a append so i will keep it false uh, and there is a reason i don't want to append uh the terms whenever the movie post updating because if there is like user has selected three actors 
uh, for that mo- particular movie. But late, later on, that uh, that was the mistake. Like uh, there is only two actors I have to assign, and if it's updating again, and if you pass the uh, append parameter true, then it will append the new terms to that existing uh, to the post, and it, it won't remove the old relation of that terms. Okay, so that's why we are passing the false here. And again, similarly, if there is no uh, actor selected, we are deleting the post meta when update it again. Uh, and uh, not uh, unselected all the actors list still we are deleting the post meta similarly we also need to delete the object terms relationship because if the i have select uh, user unselected all the actors then uh, we are deleting the post meta and also we have to delete uh, the uh, object term relationship so i will use object wp object term relationship where i will pass the post id which is our movie post id and our taxonomy so utility taxonomy so when uh, user unselected all the actors it will delete the all the uh, utility terms uh, for that uh, movie post id okay so this is the better way okay now let's go through now go back to the all the movies go to this movie um uh, we already selected it, so I will just keep update. So again, like uh, I'm not making any changes, but already actors are set, uh, selected, and same uh, actors inputs will be submitted, and the save post section will call again. So I will just click update here. Uh, now, if you go to the internal markers, now you can see these two terms created. Okay, so that those actors, the uh, actors, uh, based on these terms created, the person dash which is a prefix uh, and then 1855 so based on this term name also uh, developer can understand that this is the person post type and this is the person post type id okay so 1855 and 1858 which is like if you go to the people if you click here you can see uh, uh, here you can see 1858 go back um, and then again go here uh, lower june uh this, this actor assigned to the post movie so this is 1855 okay so uh that's working fine so let's do for the same or for the kgf movie so i'm going here i already selected sanjay dot n yes so i'm just updating here go back internal markers and other two uh created the terms created okay if i go with this one so you will see the filter so if you in the url structure utility uh, taxonomy the person 1847 which is the id uh, our term and the post type movie and it filtering that okay and if i click on all movies it will show all the movies okay so now our uh, relationship between movies and people have been set through this uh, utility taxonomy okay now how we gonna like in the front end or anywhere we want to display a list of the movies based on actors. How are we going to do using the WP query? So um, I will just simply close this file. Go to, uh, let me just uh, go to the MU plugin. Uh, this is my uh, demo file which I have created. So I will add action. I'm using admin in it so that uh, I can uh, echo die the uh, output of the WP query into the back end itself. Okay, so I don't have to visit the front end and in the callback function, uh, they never use the inline callback function, but this is for a demo. So that's why I'm just using it, but always create a name function and then use it. And it's easy to manage and uh, more readable. Okay. And that's like uh, inline from if you use uh, this inline function, then if you want to remove this, then we have to pass that function name when we call the remove action function okay so in that case we cannot remove the action using uh, uh using the remove action or the remove filter okay that's why the inline function um, should not used okay but this is only for the demo purpose okay so here um i will create a new query like uh, dollar movie uh query okay uh new wp query okay and here i will pass the post type uh, movie because we want the list of movie um, and uh, i will pass the text query here so text query here uh, and add it so and there is an array 
okay um if you want to find a text query parameter so go at the top on the same uh, documentation click on the taxonomy parameters and you can see the text query so we have to pass text query argument and that array will have this relation uh, if you are mu having multiple text query then you can use the relation either and or or and then uh, within that you can pass taxonomy fields terms include children and operators so for now we, we have to pass taxonomy so here uh, we can pass a taxonomy or utility okay um, then next one is the field which like field we want to use for query so we will use the slug because in our text hidden taxonomy name uh, and the slug are the same so we will gonna use slug and I, uh, there is a, a terms okay so in the terms uh, either you can pass integer uh, like an id and uh, you can pass integer if you are uh, using field to value is a term id then either string or array you can pass okay so for now i'm gonna use only uh, like a single uh, uh, like i will gonna list the movies based only by the single actor so i will just use this and i will um, use the term like this one okay so this term a person 1847 is the yes it's a uh, it is uh, 1847 is the i think uh, okay sorry i have um created a problem here i have i have kept it um like here let me okay now it's gonna work uh refresh the page okay sorry about that okay so here if we click on a yes then in the, this uh, post person possesses 1847 uh a post id okay so so we will gonna use this so uh person 1847 okay now our movie query so let's uh, uh print out the movie query and how it looks like uh movie query okay and if i just refresh here we can see the wp query object uh, we have passed the text query so in the query uh, property you can see there you can also in the query base um, then uh, here in the text query you can see our text query utility array and everything text query uh, here you can see in the request uh, you can see the act, enter sql query and which will have this uh, join query with the the terms table okay and here in the post prop, uh, in the post field you can see the kgf uh, movie uh, okay and there is only one movie of uh, fast in the post ever okay so only one movie post because uh, the yes movie or yes uh, actor selected into the kgf movie only now i want the list of the movies where yes and uh, sanjay that uh, uh, like uh, part of that film so i can pass in the array format so uh, i can pass this in array format and I can pass a person and what was the okay I have to first comment this out reload so again I have made the mistakes here I have made the mistakes here uh, sorry sorry about that uh, reload uh, go to the internal markers and it was 1850 okay so I will pass that 1850 okay and let's just uncomment uncommented here okay and refresh it now you can see that the text, text query for multiple arguments and it will gonna work because like uh, there is only one movie so if we add another movie where uh, the years also part of that movie so let me let me just add it quickly uh, so that we have better example uh, so i'm gonna add a new movie uh, called uh, kgf uh, chapter one okay and simply i will pass the years uh in the sec in the first in the in the second film like kgf chapter one don't have sanjay data, but i will still add the uh, sanjay data here and then publish it okay so if you go here to the internal markers you can see that two counts for this uh year sector and the sanjay detector terms here okay so uh and now let me just uncomment this uh code 
okay uh, and refresh it now you can see the two posts here one is a kgf chapter one and one is a kgf chapter two okay so this way you can uh, filter the movie post based on these actors since because we have have a terms uh, relate uh, utility terms which are assigned with the uh, person okay now um, maybe you have a question that how like this is it feels weird like uh, 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 using this one uh, like it's a static uh, we are using the id statically and that's not a best practice but in the front end when the user filters the movies by the actors we will have that actor name okay so based on uh, what are the actors name selected uh, we will fast the uh, person post based on this actor name and when we have that person post uh, we will have that id and again construct this term we know that how the term we have created constructed the term so if you um, going to movie library post type movie here when we assign the terms we have created constructed the term so similarly we will construct the term here as well and based on that id create uh, construct the terms and do the query and uh, we, we and uh, uh, and we can list the move uh, filter the movies there by the actors and similarly you can do this uh, let me just uncomment it is now it's not needed so similarly you can uh, you can do like uh, for the directors like i have added a uh, meta box for the actors you can do for the director so uh, add the meta box for the, to assign the directors to the movie and then uh, uh, and our base code uh, and again you in the movie you have to do for the directors as well so in the same callback function you can do for the directors create the person dash the term, taxonomy terms will be the same because the directors also a person post okay and and we can do the same and you can do rest of the things for enter cast and crew information right uh, director producers actors actresses and many other cast and crew informations and and based on that uh, hidden taxonomy concept we will be able to uh, resolve or uh, filter the movies okay and there could be many uh, examples where the hidden taxonomy or the hidden uh, post type can be used for uh, for some to achieve some use cases this is the one of the use case i like this use case is very simple to understand like how we can use the hidden taxonomy so now our thing is done so um, i will just go to the taxonomies utility.php and i will simply so pass the false to so ui and internal markets gone so behind the scene all this functionality will gonna work user don't see that utility taxonomy because we are just using it behind the scene for filtering the our movie post and yeah so this way we can use the hidden taxonomy uh for for filtering purpose or there could be any more use cases for example uh in the in the home page here uh, like whenever you publish the uh, new post it will be displayed here but let's say some of the posts you don't want to display in the home page or you want to display only selected home page uh post into the home page so what uh, like uh, as a developer we can add uh, one meta or register one meta box to the post post type let's say so on a home page and whenever the user publish the post the user will select that meta box so on a home page and it will save into the meta uh, post meta as well but we cannot use the post query so during that saving the post meta information we will also create a term like so on home page into this utility taxonomy assign that utility taxonomy to the post as well and then assign that uh, so on home page term to that uh, post and uh, in uh, and using the pre get post action uh, we can uh, set the text query as uh, so whenever on, on the home page only post where the so on home page term assigned only those posts will be displayed so we we are only keeping the meta information as well which can be used somewhere uh, maybe in the rest API or any other places but we are gonna use the hidden taxonomy terms for the filtering purpose so we can avoid the meta query which will save our performance issues and we can easily filter the post right so this way we can uh, we can uh, uh, we these are the like uh, use cases and there could be a multiple use cases uh, possible here okay so yeah uh, that's all about the hidden taxonomy concept so you can try it uh, maybe you can have some use cases where you can use it okay 
um, yeah so that's all about hidden taxonomy in this video um, have a great day uh, bye bye um, see you on our next one joyful please